Hey YouTube kittens, it's Kathy Cat. Do you like adorable Japanese cafe food and cute desserts? Well, then you're in the right place if you go to Tokyo's Harajuku area, which is crammed full with cute and adorable cafes. Now, this time we're gonna actually look at a cafe that was supposed to be new and fresh and upcoming last year, but only within two months it completely vanished. Hey YouTube kittens, it's Kathy Cat and Ta-da! And today we're here in Harajuku and there's a new trend in Harajuku! It's the... Fruit picnic! It's great for Instagrammable pictures. It's gonna be the new trendy thing. We are here first thing in line right in the morning. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see. Inside is apparently themed like an absolute wonderland. I've seen pictures on Instagram. It's crazy. I really need to go. So let's go! Let's go! Sunday the parfait, ice cream shaved ice, chocolate dip, everything is themed around strawberries and that's supposed to be afternoon tea set. I might come back for that one one day but right now I, I don't really want to afford that. Either. Also times, time spots for those. <laughs> decided to not go into the picnic area yet because my Sunday is already dripping <laughs> and we don't want to get it all over the picnic area just out of respect for that area because it looks so pretty. So we're going to finish that and then we're going to head into the picnic area. Just check out how cute everything is. Okay, I really, really already like the cream. That's super rich and creamy, but if you can't have the cream, oh, it's so good. If you can have the cream, they had soy. So this is strawberry mixed with soy instead of with milk and I really appreciate that. So if you have a slight lactose intolerance, there you go. Ooh. Ooh, everything is themed to strawberry, I love this. So this parfait was your recommendation. You came here before, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but the ice cream is so good. The quality is like really nice, right? Yeah. I, thought, like, I thought like, oh, maybe it's just like normal kind of ice cream, soft no. cream, but this one is very, very yeah. Oh, no. Local is a Japanese word, like rich. Mm. Feels very rich. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, let's go inside. Now we're allowed to keep our shoes on, which is rare. I will not expect you to keep my shoes on. Here we are. Just look at this. There's so much space, and they're like dried flowers on the ceiling, and there are loads and loads of little picnic sheets out on the floor, so you can see loads and loads of areas to really zip out, take your Instagram pictures, and they have Instagram so much. I'm like, I mean, just look at this. It's like an ice cream cart to just stand here and like pose all the way like. And I thought this is gonna be just the area. But no, there's more space over here. This used to be actually a live house, so they were actually doing concerts here, and now it's completely transformed into a garden. So, loads and loads of spaces to take your pictures with. I'm so glad we have a really cool. <laughs> that didn't just happen <laughs> over here. There is more space too. <laughs> oh, that was so mean. And again, there's another fruit cart and spaces here. Oh. This is amazing. Let's take all the pictures. All the pictures! <laughs> really nice is they have like candles, like fake candles, books, and other things here to just use freely when you take your pictures. And there's always a little picnic set as well, because obviously it's for its picnic. Asleep. 
love reading this book out here at the park. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, that's for when you get the afternoon tea here. Because the afternoon tea comes with drinks and like a set. And oh, right. Oh, I need to come back for the afternoon tea. Oh, this is so relaxing. Now, everyone's putting things up for the afternoon tea. There are time slots when you're allowed to have like just normal picnic here or when you actually have to take the afternoon tea. It says that on their flyer here. So you can see there's like a the green area is when everyone is welcome to do things and then the pink one is uh, when it's the afternoon tea when you come back and apparently there is a strawberry all you can eat over there and uh, loads and loads of things on the menu so look, oh, the afternoon tea looks really tasty I'm really tempted of going one day for the afternoon tea so yeah, it comes in time slots as well so you better book in advance as it is. Oh, I'm so relaxed This is so relaxing, we're like chilling yeah, yeah. <laughs> So nice with the whole lighting and everything, and the music is really relaxing too. So that was fruit picnic in Harajuku. Yeah. That was really good. Thanks for recommending that to me. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, if you're curious, I'm gonna drop a couple of links down below. Also, you'll find Sarah's Instagram. She has always loads of cute cafes and cute styles <laughs> on her Instagram, so be sure to check that out. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Japan, cafes, cute stuff, fashion, everything cute. And I'll see you for more stuff soon. So, for the den, do what you love, love what you do. Bye. Don't forget to drop a like. <laughs> Up on this point in time, I don't know why this cafe did not succeed. I certainly did want it to succeed, but it looked like there were not enough people to actually justify the high prices of rent that are in Harajuku. So unfortunately, they closed. Thought the idea was really cool, really would have loved this one, but unfortunately, they're not there anymore. If you have a theory why this cafe vanished that's maybe different, let me know in the comments down below. There is a whole playlist with cute cafes that you'll probably be surprised about what they do here in Japan so be sure to check it out also don't forget to subscribe for more always love seeing more of you here on the channel thank you so much for watching and I catch you soon for another video next week and give me that like because I love them likes bye